Let's take a look at how we can insert columns and create tables in Excel for Mac. Here we have a data set on 100 employees. I think they work for a, a lumber yard. And we've got, a, we've got five columns here indicating the usual number of hours work, their education and years, their yearly income, their age, and their, their sex. Now let's, let's arrange things so that we can handle this data better. First thing we want to do is we want to, let's say we want to be able to identify each employee. This is anonymous data, so there's no names associated, but we might want to give everybody a number. So let's insert another column and give everybody a number going from 1 to 100. So let's, uh, let's first of all select a column, and we're going to do that by clicking on the column heading where we want the new column to be, and everything will be pushed over to the right. So I've clicked on the column A, I've gotten it highlighted, now I'm going to left click on it, and I'm going to pre press insert. And that's created a new column for me. Now where the column headings go, I'm going to put, I'll just call it ID. ID. And now we want to get 1 to 100, so we can put 1 in the first one, 2 in the second one, now we could keep on going and typing in all these numbers, but Excel has a, uh, a series feature where if we start a series, it'll tell what we're doing. So I've clicked back on the one, and now if I include the second number, so if I do shift down arrow, I've got both numbers selected, and then you see there's this little square here, that's a handle. If I click on the handle and drag the handle down, and I go all the way down to the end of this number, these, these numbers, so if I just be a little patient, I'll go down there. Okay, I go down to line 103, and then I let go there. It fills it up with all this series of numbers. So everybody has an ID number going from 1 to uh, uh, 100. Now, let's change this into a table format. This is a neat feature of, of Excel. So if we go to Insert, and now we've got to make sure that the cell that we've chosen is inside of the data. So if I click on, I go into Insert, and I go into Table, it says, what is the data for your table? And it puts a ring around what it, what it thinks that I want it to be. And it looks like it's guessed right and so A3 to F103. It has a checkbox for my table has headers, yes. The different columns have headers, and so I click OK, and it changes it into a really nice uh, table that um, has these little triangles at the top in the, the headers. So if I wanted to sort uh, uh, things by, say, people's age, I could go uh, sort from Ascending to descending, that uh, uh, going from the low to the highest. So if I were to do that, I uh, I could go sort, uh, and there we've got sorted by people's age. Uh, we could do this for any uh, column. If I wanted it descending, the youngest people first. We could do it that way. Um, so that's a a way of uh, uh, one of the advantages of having uh, um, uh, a table. 